So that's where you're saying the selfishness was more of an issue than same-sex attraction, or Absolutely. it was an undergirding issue that yeah, that maybe it did. That manifested in same-sex attraction, yeah. or how would you put yeah. that? Yeah, no, I would say I would say like you said, going going outside the bounds would tend to be more you know in, in terms of other guys, but I think it's more realizing I don't know if I've ever really loved somebody, I don't know if I've ever really offered myself to another. You know, just the freedom to be sexual, the freedom to, you know, go a little while with somebody and then move on. But to really say, I'm, I'm, I want to know you at core. Mm -hmm. I'm offering you my core. Okay. I, I want to press into that because yeah. that, you're getting at the difference between love and, and lust, authentic love mm -hmm. and just. Mm -hmm. uh, a more base, selfish indulgence mm -hmm. of my sexual desire. Mm -hmm. And when the culture, we confuse these words. Yeah. So when the culture says love is love, I believe what it's really saying is lust is lust. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Lust right. is using another woman or using another man. Lust is lust. Right. But we have, we have, we have forgotten what love calls us to. Right. And we have forgotten that this has something to do with our genitals, yeah. that our, our genitals are an invitation, not merely to sexual indulgence for my own selfish pleasure, but my genitals are a call to self-giving, yeah. sacrificial love. Yeah. I remember I was sharing with my son, my oldest son, this was some years ago, he was in high school, and he was in this kind of ongoing conversation with... Uh, another teenage guy about what's wrong with same-sex relationships, with sexually active same-sex relationships. Mm -hmm. And I said, John Paul, try, try, try this on him. Just, just, and we, you know, he, we were having a long, ongoing conversation. This wasn't the first thing I said. Well, we'll tell him this. But it was after he had had many conversations mm -hmm. with this guy, and I said, I said, John Paul, it comes down to what does ejaculation have to do with self-sacrificial love? Mm. And really and truly, when you get down to it, mm. the call to give one seed can only be sacrificial, an expression of sacrificial love, if one understands the meaning of that seed as the potential to bring another life into the world and to lay down your life for that life and for the mother who's bringing that child into the world through your seed. And, and I said, I said, pose this question to him, like, just <clears throat> ask him, what does, in the final analysis, what does ejaculation have to do with sac sacrificial love? And this was an utterly foreign concept to this mm -hmm. other person, that, mm -hmm. that, that sexual, that orgasm, that sexual pleasure, that ejaculation would have anything whatsoever to do with sacrificing myself for others. Because the whole programming of the culture is... That's just for your own pleasure. Yeah. This is this is the disconnect. Wow. And but you are you are feeling at at, at this stage in your life. My body is telling me yeah. I'm called to be a sacrificial gift. Yeah. Am I am I accurate in saying yeah. that you're experiencing this at that stage yeah. of your in life? The, in the whole, in the whole of my being, uh, and these are in this is fiance, you know, pre pre marriage itself. So not genital relating at that point. But, but you knew that's where your body was was going was pointing and, you. and the preparation had to do with the 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 proper the proper disclosure, the proper drawing out of who she was. It was all sort of in some ways it was all sort of foreplay, really, in the sense of we are becoming known rightly, mm, mm. and 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 within this 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 increasingly unique you me, excluding others, we're heading here together. You and me, that was that was utterly new for me. Some people have had other relationships, yes, yes, and then yes. they kind of compare. Well, it wasn't was it like that relationship for me. There was something virginal about it. Beautiful. Oh, and, what a perfect uh, word. That's yeah. that's. It was virginal, truly, and uh, and there was a there was a there was a beautiful grace of chastity 
Uh, I, I hope that chastity is still intact. But then there was there was a there was a beautiful self control, and at the same time a deep longing for her. And so to the naysayers that would say, well, you 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 are incapable of arousal because you're gay, right, you know. Right. And I would just say, oh, come on, that's like you're you're taking all this worldly language and you're kind of throwing it at me like, mm-hmm. well, that's who you it's like, what? I'm a man. Mm-hmm. I'm a man created for a woman. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever whatever my desires were at whatever phase in my life and the 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 misbegotten choices I made, that that doesn't change who I am intrinsically. Mm-hmm. And John Paul points this out so beautifully. That was so compelling for me when I met you in the 90s and began to open up this amazing tome, the Pauline Press right. version, however inaccurate, <laughs> but so compelling for me. And, and, you know, when he said, you know, you know, the one who enters in through Jesus discovers the most real and authentic parts of his personhood yes, so yes. so that whole thing about the true self i'm just being true oh finally he's being true and he's free to leave his wife of 30 years and his children for his dream or you know whatever lame thing they're saying it's like no jesus takes us deeper deeper, deeper. And, and i would say tying it into the lamb and the blood and the surrender you know there is a way in which those depths always have to do with allowing the crucified to probe us more deeply. Mm, mm. So that bedrock, you know, really the mother load of truth that I bear is something I believe that only the crucified can can access Mm. with increasing profundity. I have to be alive to it, aware of it. Obviously I am because it has something to do with uh, uh, surrender in an attitude of trust. Yes, yes. That you're showing me something here um, in all the slings and arrows yes. that one experiences in this journey. 